In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is Monday, the 25th of November, 2024, 34th week in ordinary time, the last week in ordinary time, and participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following Daily Bread members. Chidi Ibiam, celebrating her birthday today from Lagos, Nigeria, takes for us the first reading. Betty Makonde Mwane, celebrating her birthday today from Lusaka, Zambia, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Aku Jacob Aondo Hemba, who celebrates his birthday on the 28th of this month from Makudi Diocese in Nigeria. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, they had the name of Christ and his Father written on their foreheads. A reading from the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 14, verses 1 to 3, 4b to 5. I, John, looked, and behold, on Mount Zion stood the Lamb, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of loud thunder, the voice I heard was like the sound of harpies playing on their harps, and they sing a new song before the throne, and before the four living creatures, and before the elders. No one could learn the, that song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth. It is these who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These have been redeemed from mankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found, for they are spotless. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm 24, this 1 to 2, 3 to 4 AB, and 5 to 6. Response is from Psalm 24, this 6. The response is, These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all who dwell in it. It is he who set it on the seas, on the rivers he made it fame. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place, the clean of hands and pure of heart? Whose soul is not set on vain things? These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Blessings from the Lord shall be received, and right reward from the God who saves him. Such are the people who seek him, who seek the face of the God of Jacob. These are the people who seek your face, O Lord. Gospel Acclamation Matthew 24 verses 42a and 44 Alleluia! Watch therefore and be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 21 verses 1 to 4. At that time, Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw a poor widow put in two copper coins. And he said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. 
for they all contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, put in all the living that she had. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We continue drawing lessons from the book of Revelation, Apocalypse, and today we are on chapter 14. We are introduced to the number that has disturbed so many people, 144,000. That is the number of the perfect Israel, the number of the perfect chosen family of God. And there are people who have taken this number literally to mean just one up to 144,000. That is a mistake. Please don't take the Bible like a newspaper story. No, and don't take this prophecy of St. John to mean exactly what it is saying. No, and I am not changing the Bible by telling you this. I'm just here to explain to you the meaning of these numbers. The number 12 stands for the 12 tribes of Israel. And so when the writer talks about 12 times 12 times a thousand, he wants to say it is representing the perfect new Israel. Complete Israel, which is made up of uncountable people. Because the number 1,000 was seen as a big number. Great number. So it does not refer to 1 to a 1,000. No, it is referring to a great number. You are included in this 144,000 if you are a person ready to sing a new song, a song that others may not understand. And that song is a song of character. It is a song representing forgiveness, representing love, representing authenticity, representing a principled personality. A song that cannot be copied, a song that cannot be learnt. It is lived. That's what the writer wants to say. So the 144,000 is made up of people who have chosen to live a principled life. It is made up of you and me in the way we relate to one another, in the way we choose to stand for what we believe in, in the way we show to the world that we can be different. We can dance to music, to a song that the world cannot learn. They can just admire. And in admiring, they may end up also joining the 144,000. The gospel passage of today talks about how we can be part of that 144,000. We can only be part of that number when we learn to be like this woman, giving our very best to God. It may not be much. We may not be too gifted, but we put at God's disposal whatever gift we have, like this poor widow who offered the two copper coins. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Monday to you. Thanks be to God. Amen.